Okay, talking about my feelings. Let's see how this goes. Hey, it's Harriet, and welcome back to a completely different kind of video from everything else that I've done. I just want to talk about something I've actually been thinking about a lot. It's just been on my mind, and I've not seen enough stuff about it online and thought I'll, I'll talk about it for a little bit. So part of the main reason why it's been forefront is that at the moment during summer there's just loads of pride festivals going on. I was in Manchester last weekend and it happened to be the weekend of pride which just seems to happen to me. I turn up places and I'm like oh damn pride's going on, great. There's all sorts of stuff about LGBT community and it's great and it's amazing that it's all out there but not all of the sexualities in the plus section of it are always discussed and some of them are still considered to not exist and not be real and that sucks so I'm just going to talk about the one that I'm aware of which is asexuality. So asexuality is, as far as I'm concerned, when you aren't interested in being in a sexual relationship with somebody. You basically don't have a sex drive, you've got little to no interest in having sex, and yeah, that's what I am aware of it being. This can mean a variety of things for so many different people, like within this sexuality there's a whole whole other spectrum. <laughs> Um, you know, there are people who are happy to have sex for their partner and they're okay and they're comfortable with that. There are people who it completely grosses out and they don't want to do it at all. And then within that as well you can get like people who are aromantic, so they aren't interested in having romantic relationships either. They don't feel romantically attracted to other people. And then you can have this not like heteroromantic, homoromantic, biromantic, etc. So that's what that is. I hope I've said right things and explained it well and stuff. So as far as when I found out, realised that I was asexual, was in my second year of college. So I was 18 um, and I was actually in my first and only relationship um, and we'd been together for quite a while and nothing had really progressed within that and I got to the point where I realised that he was my best friend and that was it and I just could not feel anything else as much as I wanted to. I just was like no that that's it this is platonic as far as I'm concerned. The relationship got dragged on far longer than it should have done but ended up ending because because he said to me that he wanted me to be his first kiss because he was going to be in a show which involved him kissing somebody with 30 people so it was fine but I suddenly just thought that's not something I'm comfortable with doing this is something that I need to really address and realise what is going on here and why that's something that I just cannot do so yeah, that is, that is my experience. In terms of telling people about it, I didn't really know at the time about the label, about what it meant. I just thought it was just between the two of us kind of thing. But um, as I went to university, I kind of started to realise that looking back, I'd never really had any proper crushes the way people do the way you got the impression that people do. So you know like when at school we would talk about boys that we had crushes on and stuff I'd just be like oh yeah yeah I definitely like have a crush on this person but even then it would only be people who I knew and who I had a standing relationship with like I was friends with them, I'd sat with them, I'd talked to them, they were the only people who I could conceive finding attractive. And I've never had a proper celebrity crush either Everyone's like, oh, who, who's, who's your celebrity crush? Oh, do you find this celebrity really attractive, this famous person? I'm just like, no. 
there is only one famous person would say that I've had a genuine crush on and that is Natalie Dormer so it's not even a male person when I would consider myself to be kind of in the hetero romantic thing but yeah the only celebrity crush that I've had is on a woman so take what you want from that but yeah as I got to university it wasn't until in my second year I told my closest friends about it but it was kind of in very much a like late night all the lights were out one of my other friends was talking about bisexuality and it just kind of came out I was just like I just don't want to have sex with anybody <laughs> they were so cool about it they were so like oh that's really interesting like we don't know anything about this tell us about it and I found that with everyone who I've told I told them in my third year I told my flatmates I've told my sister I've not told my parents but then it's because I can kind of see their reaction to it as being like a oh well when you find the right person <laughs> which is fair enough you know it's not it's not like me turning around and saying oh I'm gay because that's like a very definite shift from what society thinks whereas with this I feel like it's more this is just something that is private to me anyway it's not like I'd go around talking about my sex life <laughs> it's something that I don't really need to tell people I just want to tell some people I am interested in having a romantic relationship um and probably with a guy I'm just not interested in having a sexual relationship with anybody so it's kind of like well if I do at some point have a romantic relationship it's probably going to be with a guy so it's kind of not necessary for my parents to know any details as I said for the most part the response has been entirely positive I've only heard through some of my friends that another of my friend was very skeptical about it and was kind of going down the route of oh well on, once she's done it then she'll know and she won't go back kind of thing but it's just not something that I can see happening it's not like I'm entirely uninterested in any respect like I read Hannah Witten's let's talk about sex book and it was interesting I find that kind of thing interesting but from far away I just don't want to do it myself <laughs> I don't really know what else to say I just kind of wanted to talk about it because I don't feel like I get to talk about it enough. When people are openly gay, then for quite a lot of them, they're open, they're like camp as well, so it's kind of a, it's a major part of their personality. Whereas this isn't a major part of my personality. It's just who I am. If I think of anything else, I'll add it on. I did think of something else I wanted to say. I watched Crude Vegan, who is brilliant, her memoirs of a vagina videos series and it's like brilliant it's really interesting but it's one of those things that i was like people have an opinion about what their vagina is like is that a thing i had no idea i was like it literally doesn't bother me at all is this because i have no interest in that area or is it just because i'm just naive and unknowing for this kind of thing but yeah it seems like people care about this hmm. i didn't realize that this was a thing that people were insecure about and i'm kind of glad that i didn't know because it means that i'm not insecure about it but i just i had no idea but yeah her videos are brilliant and again it's something that i find really interesting even though it's not something that really bothers me I think that's it. So thanks for watching me have a little little talk and I'll be back soon with more food stuff. Yeah. <laughs> See you then. Bye.